Sky Moms. I'm Shay Kathy. And I'm Noah Kathy. This is my oldest son, and we are back to talk to you. Noah and I have both done individual devotions, and now we're doing one together. So we hope it goes well. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I was sharing with Noah that a friend of mine was talking about how difficult it's been for her to watch the news or be on social media, um, even sometimes to have conversations with friends because there's so much sadness, so much loss. Uh, so much depression and anxiety during these times. And she actually used the phrase, um, we've lost so many people or we've lost so much. And what she said is true, said, but we haven't lost everybody. We haven't lost everything. So it's kind of about perspective and understanding that even when we are facing these difficult times, there's still much to celebrate, much yeah. to enjoy. And so um, we um, were talking about a scripture. And when she talked about that, I was like, why are we thinking on so much negative? Right. Like, the Bible gives us so much positive to think on. And I remember Paul challenged the church of Philippi in Philippians 4, 8. He says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any moral excellence, and if there's anything praiseworthy, dwell on these things. Um, and I remember um, you talking about your friend and how she was so despondent and so negative, but I remember... Um, God gives us a lot of positive, too. He wants us to think on the positive during so so much negative time, so much negative Think energy. on these things. There are lots of other versions that says, think on these, these things. things. Hey, guys, what's what true? Hey, hey we're just talking to this guy, Mom. How are y'all? Hey, Sky Moms. Hi, Sky Moms. <laughs> Hi. So these are my other two Sky Ranch campers. These are my twin boys. This is Caleb, and this is Luke. And we're talking about thinking on things that are excellent. You know, there's, this is tough times. We've all experienced tough times personally, collectively. So, Caleb, when you're having a difficult time, what do you think on? What do you I think, think on? I think about sports because I'm happy that basketball came back. It's my favorite sport. <laughs> Basketball's coming back. Basketball makes Caleb happy. Luke, when you're having a tough time, what do you think on? What makes you happy? When I'm having a bad day, I think of a next day, if, if, that, if that means taking a nap and waking up and shaking it off, then so be it. That's what I do. <laughs> so Luke, Luke, yeah, the, the next day. So no, what do you think on? What Why do you think, think on, on positive? Like the way you the way you outweigh negative is positive. Like I'm going to high school, I'm excited about that. We just got a new we just got a new house. We're moving in. Um and all the positive things, despite so much negative going on, we can still focus on positive like Paul tells us to. Yeah. What um, about you? What do you think? What do you think about? Well I think about you guys. <laughs> I think about you guys and your dad. And our family, and like you said, we've experienced some personal loss. But even during this time, we've had some some really neat things. We, we bought a new house, and so I'm looking forward to making new memories in that house and incorporating what we experienced there. See what your dad's going to do for Christmas and how he's going to decorate the house. Um, because there, there, it, it is difficult. There, there's a lot of bad news and sad news and uncertain news. But Paul uses those words. What so things are just. There's a, a lot of injustice in the world right now, but there is also so much justice. Um, that there are things that are good and pure and noble and right and, and virtuous. So I just think we have to think on those things. We have to flip the script, flip the narrative. Even in recording this video, we had some we, we had yes. we had some challenges. But think on these things, right, boys? We're here and we're gonna get this done. And so, Sky Moms, if you're out there and just the news is overwhelming. If you're, you know, people are experiencing job loss and illness and unfortunately death um, and just really uncertainty. Just think on these things. Think about what Paul said. Think about what's noble and pure and just and get a sheet of paper and write those things down. There are so many good, pure, just, Dang fun, God. exciting Dang new God. opportunities the next day. If you're like, Luke, are you looking for God's grace and mercy to show up tomorrow? Because it's new every morning. If you're just trying to hang on through the night and say, tomorrow's I'm going to get God's new mercy. Okay. And if you're like Caleb and you want to go outside and just exercise and play and watch your favorite team, root for your player. And then if you have a high schooler, <laughs> a high schooler, if you have a high schooler and you're excited about what's what's lying ahead for your family and if you have a new home or if you're in your old home and you're going to take a new space and do something different with it just think on these things guys so let's try to be like Paul um can we pray together yeah. boys right. let's come in all right let us pray father God we thank you um God right now in a world of chaos and strife God we just want to thank you thank you for all that you've done we thank you for um being there when we need you um, and helping us when we don't think we need you, God. We 
We thank you for the things you have put in our world, the joy and the love and the peace, God. We pray that you allow us um, to harness the abilities you put in us. Yeah, we are like Jesus in the, in the storm. God, we are peace. Even when the waters around us are ro roaring and the wind is blowing so hard, God, that we can find something inside of us that keeps us calm. God, we know you know our world um, is tough today. Um, there are many dying, many losing jobs, many experiencing things they never thought they would go through, God. And we just pray that you allow us to harness you, God, that when there's injustice, we we hone in on your justice. When there is chaos and calamity, we hone in on your calm. When there is when we experience problems, that we um, channel your peace, God. When there is craziness in our world, we just pray that you allow us to channel you. Um, we are reminded of what Paul challenged us, God, whatever is honorable and commendable and just and trustworthy and loving, that we dwell on these things, God. And we pray that you allow us to dwell on these things, to think on these things, even when it might be hard, God. We thank you for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, Christ's name we pray, amen. 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 Sky Moms, be blessed. Bye, Sky Moms. Bye, Sky Moms. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.